What if Goku was Zeno's son? How would this impact Dragon Ball Z Part 7? If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Hey everybody, welcome back to this week's episode of Dragon Ball Z Discussion, where we do a what if discussion on Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, and Dragon Ball GT. Previously on What If Goku Was Zeno's Son, we mentioned that Goku has now got the news along with everyone else that the Omni King's father, Zeno the Third, is still alive and he's the one who's pulling all this string. Goku didn't want to believe it along with Daishigen so they decided to go and ask Zuno if this is true. Once when they got there, they saw that Zuno was already slayed, as it was Vegeta and Broly who entered the battlefield and they managed to kill Zuno just so that Goku cannot get his answer. Daishigen went and used his staff on Zuno and he resurrected him while Goku went and he began battling with Vegeta and Broly. Vegeta and Broly went and transformed to their transformation but they didn't stand a chance against Goku, Omni Super Saiyan Rose Power. When Goku started to beat the shit out of them, they decided to go and use their true power, as both Vegeta and Broly went and they transformed into their Universe Seed Power. Upon using the Universe Seed, they began to go and instantly overpower Goku, since that is the power that could kill the Omni King. Goku found himself powerless against Vegeta and Broly until Mirrors came to help him, but even with Mirrors' help, Broly began to beat the shit out of Mirrors. Goku decided to go and use his full power as he has yet again used his Omni Ultra Instinct. Upon using his Ultra Instinct, Goku managed to go and kill Vegeta as he went and beat the shit out of Broly and before killing him, Goku asked Broly to join him. Broly saw that he had no choice as he didn't want to die so he accepted Goku's offer as they both shook each other's hand and now he joined Goku's side. What if Goku was born as Zeno's son? Part 7 So how did you come back to life Zeno the Third? And more importantly, who brought you back? Uh huh, is that any way to talk to your father Zeno? You're not my father! You came here with the intention to kill me, haven't you father? Well, you did break the Omni rules Zeno, and I'm not happy with that. Who gave you the right to make a mortal your son? How dare you play with our rule and make it for your own selfish reason? That's my business is what I do. You're dead, you shouldn't be even alive. And what I did with Goku, he's far better deity and fire than you'll ever be, so-called dad. I don't care what you are. Hmm, I have not enough of this. I have been brought back 20 years and after 20 years, I was able to regain all my Omni power. And now that I'm all awake, it is time I take over the Omni throne by ending you once and for all. As he went and strikes Zeno right in his face but Zeno managed to dodge it and said, You're not the only one that can fight and ask for my throne? I won't let you come near it. This is my universe to watch over. The Omni rule has been broken or not, I don't care. I'll do how I see fit what's best for this and for this universe. Well too bad son, that's how it works and now it's time you become one with me. As Zeno saw that he wasn't able to move and from there his entire body was being erased and said, What are you doing with me? Why can I move? I am going to make you be one with me. Have you forgotten? I am the strongest Omni King to ever exist. I'm the one who slayed a super dragon before and I'll did it again. So it was you who slayed a super dragon ball? Yes it was. And now you are going to become one with me Zeno. Before Zeno can be fully absorbed by his father, he went and threw an Omni Blast in the air. As the blast went right away and from there he said, Goku my son, you're the only one that can beat him. You must win no matter what Goku, I leave everything in your hand. As Zeno and his father has now merged to become one. <laughs> this universe is mine to handle now. Now that he's gone, it is time I remove the Grand Priest and Goku. My so-called grandson. <laughs> Back on Beerus' world, Goku has arrived there with Broly as Daishigen and Whis managed to find out that the Omni King, or you can say Zeno the Third, was the one who was doing all this from the start. 
With that, Goku told him about Broly, how he is going to be part on their side, and Goku also felt a rush of wind coming right towards him, as he saw an Omniblast come right next to him, and it shined on Goku, and with that, he saw Zeno has said his final goodbye and said, Goku, I'm sorry my son, I couldn't be here anymore. I have died, but it's up to you to avenge your father. What? What are you talking about, father? How, you're dead? What's going on? Oh my word, don't tell me. You are the greatest achievement I have ever achieved as an Omni King, Goku. Never feel like it is because of you this has happened to me. I'm so proud of you and I always will be. You're my son. Never forget that. Farewell, Goku. As Zeno has disappeared while Goku began to cry and from there, he went and transported right to Zeno's world where he saw that it was empty but then they saw Zeno's lifeless body was lying there since his soul was been absorbed by his own father. With that, Goku ran right towards Zeno as he picked up his father's corpse and he began to cry and said, No matter what, I'll avenge you, father. Even if it means to die, father, I'll do everything I can to avenge you. As Goku was very angry with what just happened and he wasn't able to sense any key coming from Zeno, the one who took his father. And with that, he went and transported right towards where Zeno the third was. With that, Hart and Fu were getting their stuff together. While Zeno the third was gloating about how he's beat Zeno and from there they saw Goku has arrived. As Goku looked towards him with anger and said, So you're the one that killed my father! I'm gonna kill you! As Goku went and screamed. Goku has now transformed into his Omni Ultra Instinct as he instantly came right next to Zeno and he striked him in his face, getting to be sent flying meters away. With that, Goku followed as he continued to hit him non-stop. Hart and Fu were surprised to see how strong Goku was, while Dai Shinken and Whis along with Broly has arrived and they saw Goku's firepower as Goku continued to hit Zeno the third with everything he's got. He went and powered up a huge Omni Blast and aimed it at him. Once when the smoke cleared, they saw that Zeno the third has gotten up and smiled and said, Is that all you got, grandson? How disappointing. What? No way! I hit you with everything I got! How did it bounce back like if it was nothing? It doesn't make sense! Well then, I have seen your power. Let me put an end towards this. As he waved his hand and with that a huge pressure of power came and hit Goku, pouring his entire gi and it cut his health in half. Goku fell right to the ground as he began to hold on to his life. Dai Shinken came and he kicked Omni King away from Goku as he quickly grabbed Goku and they retreated with everyone else. They have now returned right back to Zeno's world as Goku was badly hurt and he pretty much passed out while Dai Shinken went and he used his staff to heal Goku. Although he managed to heal Goku, he's still not in the right state of his mind since he did lose his father and it took a huge toll on him mentally and physically. Dai Shinken then looked towards Whis and said, it is time we all get ready for the war, once and for all. Now that Zeno has been absorbed with his father, I could tell he wants nothing but blood. The first person he's gonna kill is me, and then he's gonna try to kill Goku. Well father, we do have all the angels together to stop him. Why don't we get all together and get him out of here? No Whis, even with that, he's a very dangerous creature. And something tells me he still has way more power than what he shows. If there's anyone that could beat him, it is Goku. Goku? Yes. Although Goku lost that is because he doesn't have the right training. But Goku is Zeno's son, which makes him an Omni King if you look at it. And as an Omni King, they have the potential to achieve something which has never been achieved before. But if Goku managed to get it, he will be unstoppable. And what is that, father? Goku has the potential to achieve something called Omniversal Instinct. Omniversal Instinct? Wait. What kind of thing is that? It is a power that only the Omni King can achieve. But since Goku is a hybrid, you can say he is a Saiyan who is also a Omni King. He has the potential to achieve this power. And once when he does, he will be the one to beat Zeno the third. Omniversal Instinct is the only thing that can beat Zeno. And if we have any hopes on beating him, Goku must achieve this power. Well, how are you expecting to get it, father? What should we do? First thing is first. I want you to go and get the Supreme Kai Whis and also bring the old Kai. He's gonna need to unleash Goku's potential 
And with that, get Vados and Miris. Those two will train Broly, you and I will train Goku while he has his potential unlocked inside the chamber. And once when he does, Goku will eventually achieve that power. You remember the Omni Blast that came on Goku? Yeah, I was gonna ask you, what was that? That is actually some of the essence that Zeno has given to Goku because Zeno knew deep down about Omni Universal Instinct and that if there's anyone that can achieve it, it is his son. I see. So you think Goku might be the one to achieve this power, huh? Well, it's worth a shot, father. Well, then let's get to it, Whis. We cannot waste any time. While Goku's knocked out, I'm pretty sure Zeno the Third is doing everything he can to try to track down Goku so he can kill him. We gotta use it towards our advantage. Find out what happens in the next episode as we have Dai Shinkin talking about Omniversal Instinct. Will this instinct be strong enough to put an end towards Zeno the Third now that he has fused with Zeno makes him even more stronger? Or will Zeno the Third be stronger than Goku? All this will be answered in the next episode. Make sure to click the bell, my Z fans, so you'll be the first to know when the next episode comes out. And if you haven't joined my Discord server yet, what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description below and join it so you can become one of the first Z fighters.